Hello, welcome back. This is Genshin 1913. We're let's playing Dragon Quest 7. Last episode, we got to the town of Lumen and uh, beat Barunga, and now we're here at the Dark Draco's Tower to take him out so that we can clear up the skies. And maybe everything will be all right after we clear the skies. Cause we'll see gray clouds go away and raindrops keep falling on my head but that doesn't mean my eyes will soon be turning red anyways uh yeah we can walk around this barrier if we want and over here we'll walk around this area whoa i fell and yes so you can use step guard which will allow you to walk on this. So let's actually go down these stairs here. And this leads you to the same area. But I, I think I'm missing a chest. I think I am. I think there was one chest I missed. I guess I'll just go back to it. Let's, uh... This tower can be a tiny bit confusing if you're an idiot. Which I am. So, there should be a warning on, a, on all Dragon Quest games. If you're an idiot, please seek the help of an adult while you are playing it. Anyways, uh-oh, new battle. New monsters. We got Baby Devil and Lizard Bird. And the regular old dragon. Let's, uh, let's kill him. Kill him good. Kill him dead. And this rock throw works. Like, let's say, 95% of the time. Until there are monsters that have HP over 105, I guess. Anyways, let's go up these stairs. Ooh. Barrier City. Check it and see. I got a barrier of 103. Ooh, we got ourselves a magic potion. We can heal up our magic with that bad boy. I actually haven't used any of those yet, actually. Anyways, I know I'm missing a chest. <clears throat> Excuse me, let's go down these stairs. Ah, here's one of them. But there's one other one we're missing. Anyways, we get the Temp Sword. Basically, this sword will put enemies to sleep after you, uh, when you attack with them. And I'm not going to give it to Kenshin. I'm going to give it to Melvin. He can use it get his attack power over a hundred again so let's see I think I'm gonna go back and get me that one treasure I totally missed and I think I know how to get it maybe I don't really know I'm just uh, let, let's see the map here okay you know what we're gonna fall we're gonna go down the stairs maybe no up the no I don't even know down the stairs I remember the spot I missed so let's go down these stairs. Remember that switch I pressed. Pressed. Remember that switch I pressed in the very beginning. See those stairs over there? That's where we have to go. So what I have to do is go back up these stairs. Let's get into a battle first, of course, with a new monster called a uh, Cure. I think I showed them. It could be wrong. Anyways, as long as Gabo's throwing rocks, we should be all set. I'm telling you, the God Hand, or... No, the Paladin? I don't even know. God Hand. God Hand ability of Rock Throw is amazing. It will totally help people die. Anyways, I didn't go here. So let's go down here and get this treasure. And it's a tiny metal. Hurrah! So we have enough now for we have all the treasures in this cave, uh, tower at the moment. So let's uh, tidy up our bag, sure, and let's get the heck out of here. Back up the tower. That monster's built ironically, and they have some pretty good craftsmanship. Norm Abrams would be proud of these guys. Even Bob. Uh, 
Bob Vila would probably be pretty proud of him. Anyone else used to watch uh, New Yankee Workshop? I did. I was a sad and pathetic boy. Anyways, uh, let's continue up the tower. And basically what we have to do here is walk through a ring of fire. I'm just kidding. Uh, we're gonna have to fall into it. No, really, we're gonna have to walk on these barriers. And basically the steps over here to go up. And we're getting closer, but here's a slow switch puzzle. Basically we have to go in all these doors, hit all these switches to open up the various doors. And here's the stairs so you can go from right from the other side there. Once you open up all the switches, say you want to leave and come back in, you could do so. So that door is still locked because we didn't hit one switch that's over here. And now we can go up the stairs over there. To the tippity top. The final floor of this tower. And look, more lizard birds. Not, not exactly sure why I didn't cut this out. But whatever. You get to see me throw rocks at them. Look at that. D-E-D -E -D dead. Anyways, yeah. Okay, so the boss coming up here can be rather tricky. So what we want to do is, if you need them, world leaves. And it looks like the dark uh, Draco is pretty pissed off. And he's out of control ever since Barunga was killed. That doesn't look good. Yeah, the whole continent will be blown away. And even the monsters are now in danger. And now look at this. We've made it up the stairs. Yeah. Let's fight. And they're dead. Also, oh, they, they're travelers here as well. How about that? Look at that. They're gonna die. Anyways, yeah, they were just baby gargoyles. The same kind we took, uh, we fought. And, uh, and Lumen, and open the Lumen. And now it looks like the Dark Draco wants to fight us. Now, this boss and Barunga are the first of a series of bosses that will get exponentially tougher. That's right, I use the word exponentially. And what we want to do here is make sure to use barrier, the word, uh, the spell barrier. Because he uses a nasty breath attack. Look at that. Look at that damage that guy did. And Barrier will cut down on the breath attacks and spell attacks. Well, no, 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 just breath attacks. And he does some nasty spell attacks too, but... We're all good right now. Anyways, we're gonna use Increase, Hustle... Yes, if you do not have barrier, you're gonna be uh, you're gonna be hurting in this battle. So you're gonna want that. I, I didn't get that level like four as a sage or some crap. Anyways, let's see. This guy's also weak to ice and stuff. But let's use the old quad hits on him and sword dance. A very nifty ability. I like it a lot. And let's look at the damage. Look at that. Look at what Barrier... Barrier is like that spell, or like that ability, like Wool Guard, but much better because it does it on Ice and Fire Breath. So let's see here. Let's try that. Wait a minute. He's a friggin' dragon. He's the Dark Draco. Of course. He's probably gonna be, uh, weak against this Slash here. Oh, wow. Look at the, that damage. This just in. Drake Slash works wonder on Dark Draco. Plus, by kill makes it all better. Yeah, I don't even know why I'm using sword dance and stuff. Look at this ability. This is awesome. Lightning and like a warp zone and stuff. And green bursties. Oh, come on. But that's it. We're going to use Drake Slash. It works wonders on this guy. That's why I had almost everyone learn Warrior. I think everyone learns Warrior and Cleric. I know that for a fact. Or everyone will learn it. Look at that! 
Look at that damage, almost 200 damage. This guy's got like over 1200 HP. Yeah, he's dead. Look how easy that was. I made it look a lot easier than it really is. But if you have the Draco, Drake Slash, you should be fine. Anyways, look at that. We've, uh... The air has brightened and the towers... The air and the towers all set. And we've restored peace to the land, but we'll have to check on the town in the next episode. Bye.